So in this video, I wanted to cover 10 sneakers that are roughly around that $300 price range that I'm keeping my eye on. Please note that some of these are in different sizes. So some of them may be well over $300. Some of them may be way, way under $300, depending obviously on people's sizes, uh, but just rough estimates uh, around this range. Also, I wanted to mention, if you don't use Kicks World, you can go ahead and check the link in my description. I believe it's like $28 for the, the first month. Uh, but basically it is a sneaker subscription service where you can actually check out a pair of the sneakers. If you have a sneaker con, a special event, a dance or whatever it might be coming up it's a good opportunity to be able to rent them wear them and then send them back and it's a great way of sizing sneakers as well if you've never worn an air jordan one two three a uh, pair of yeezys you don't know how they're going to fit it's good if you can spend the 28 dollars, get a jordan one jordan four a yeezy 350 wear them see if they're comfortable or not and know for the next time that you know i, I need to go up a half a size on these yeezy 350s or or no that was the right size i'm confident next time i actually hit one for retail that i get the right size anyway if you want to check the link in the description again 28 dollars for your first month the low tier uh definitely we're checking if you guys are interested and also most of these ones in the top 10 are available on their site as well worth noting that you can get roughly around uh that 28 dollar price point so throwing that out there but anyway jumping into 10 pairs of sneakers they're not going to be in any specific order i'm just going to go down the list to be 100 i didn't want to rank them and if you guys have other ones that you guys are thinking about around that $300 price range, or maybe it's only $200, but you think it has potential, please drop a comment and let me know what you guys are feeling out there uh, on the open market. Starting off the Korea Dunk Lows. This was a pair a while ago that actually I was looking at and looking at and I pulled the trigger, got them right under $300. Uh, but it's basically a pair of sneakers that I really wanted. Obviously Seoul Korea inspired with the Korea on the tongue and the reverse like blue and red outsoles were nice. The one thing that was a little bit off that I wasn't expecting from the images was the white patent leather on the shoe. Uh, not my favorite detail, but definitely something that I didn't notice from the pictures. Uh, any which way, it's a great pair of sneakers. Don't regret buying them around that $300 price. I do feel like it will go up eventually. It's just a very niche market, obviously. Next up, we have one that I tried out actually via Kicks World, and then I ended up returning my pair. Wanted them bad enough, and I bought a pair of them back under the $300 price point. And we have the New Balance 2002 Salehi Bemberries. And this is in the Water Be the Guide color, and I actually have both colorways now of the 2002Rs. I really like both of them, what he did with them. The crazy suede on them is just nuts. The details and the layers on that shoe, the way he executed it was excellent. Uh, I love the box art on both of the shoes. It was just a no-brainer for me around that $300 price point. If New Balance continues to take off, it's still gonna be one of those ones that I think is gonna be desirable. And the 2002R model is really, really comfortable. So throwing that out there. They do fit true to size, at least in my opinion, but if you guys, again, have a variance in opinion, drop a comment and let other people know Hess was wrong. It doesn't fit true to size. It's totally a size, size down. I, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's true to size and I'm happy with the purchase uh, for around $300. Next one, which is one I could see going ham in like probably three years or something like that. And that is any of the four releases from the P Pata Air Max line. So the Pata or Pata like line was pretty dope. They had four different Air Maxes with the wave patterns. And I do actually own all four of them, but my favorite one is probably the aqua blue colorway. It's just so clean. I can't wait to wear that spring summertime. The odd thing is, is the black colorway is actually the one that's the most desirable. It's the one I didn't do a review on. I still wanted to do a review on all four colorways uh, side by side by side, but I never did it. But this one was crazy because they released so many of them like back to back to back that it kind of saturated the market really quick. But I feel like some people are going to get one or two, really love it, and then in the future want to complete the rest of that collection. Pricings are in the two to three hundred dollar range right now. Uh, I think that they're a solid hold. Next up is one that honestly I just want to try out again. It's a weird shoe, but it's the Yeezy 450s and the black colorway specifically, the dark slate. That one is under $300 and it's just kind of been calling my name. It's again, such a weird, unique experience on feet. I actually wore uh, the bone colorway on the last day of my day job. I remember wearing those to the office and then people were like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quitting. I'm gonna just do sneakers full time, basically like sneaker content. And then they're seeing me wear those shoes, the, the bone. 450s so they're probably thinking good luck as like uh you know best of luck to you but but yeah some about those shoes even though they're really weird and elfy looking and have very very odd vibes it's kind of something that i was like yeah it's kind of dope like so i wouldn't mind getting a pair of those again uh, because i did get those ones from kicks world these ones are the better colorway in my opinion triple black i really like that so but under 300 dollars in my size uh, right now so i would say true to size fits a little bit snug uh but it worked out okay any which way under that $300 price point. Moving on to another one, which honestly I'm surprised it's under $300 at this point, but they made a crap ton of them. And we're talking about the Raging Bull Air Jordan 5. This one is a great colorway of an Air Jordan 5 model. First of all, it's a great model, great colorway. 
a, a retro of the original that was selling for a thousand dollars back in the day and now these ones come out and they're sitting around that 240 price range which new retros are 210 uh, this one came out at 190 and they're only going for like 240s or so. I mean, for 250 that's a solid pickup in my opinion. Uh, anything, again, under $300. I do feel like long term, like another five years, people are going to be like, dang it, I wanted to get that shoe. Or they'll see somebody wearing it at the mall and they'll be like, yo, I forgot about that retro and I, I missed out on it or I, I slept on it and now I wanted it. Anyway, it's another one of those ones I'm kind of surprised on the price points being so low, but also not surprised because of the mass saturation from Jordan Brand just releasing so many, so many pairs of these. Uh, but it still is a keeper in my opinion and a great solid colorway. And piggybacking on that, we have another one on the list and that is from holiday last year uh, the Air Jordan 11 cool gray from 2021 those ones are sitting right around that $300 price point as well and if you guys know historically uh, you know that 72 tens were basically selling retail um, the there was a whole bunch of different colorways from the past even the gammas were sitting right around retail and now gammas are like the hottest thing because they only released them once and all of the OG colorways they've released multiple multiple times I feel like this is a one that uh, the quality was actually pretty decent on this retro. They did a good job if you like the higher cut leather. I personally like the lower cut leather on them, but uh, it is what it is from the, the previous retro. Anyway, under that $300 price one, I feel like this is a solid buy. Again, long term, it will probably go up, but super long term, they'll probably retro it again. So if you missed it, you wait and then you pay to play or you wait even longer and then try to get your luck at the next retro. But it will be a while till they retro these ones again, probably another at least five to seven years. Moving on, we have another pair of Jordans, and this is actually one that I'm surprised I'm even including, but it is one I think that people should watch out for. It's the Air Jordan 1 OG uh, Natural Gray, and this is the low top version. The high top is already over that $300 price range, but I feel like the low top is like a sleeper. It's an OG colorway. Uh, it's right around 258 my size right now. The Jordan 1 wave is kind of come and gone a little bit. It's still kind of here a little bit, but I think long term it will come and go one more time, and then people are going to go, oh yeah, I remember those ones. They look really clean for the summer. It's it's a really good option in my opinion for a pair of sneakers. I lucked out on two pairs of those at retail. Uh, ooped a friend and then I kept a pair for myself. I never did a video on those either. Man, uh, that was back when I think I was working or it was really crazy. But uh, but anyway, I have a pair of them. Great shoe. Price point uh, is just under that $300 range and definitely a contender in the video. So next up, we actually have a pair of the New Balance 550s from ALD. The green one is out of range of that 300, but the white, uh, blue, and red colorway is actually within range. And the high quality materials on, on these shoes are really, really nice. Sitting around that 250, 280 range. The white and the blue ones are definitely a very wearable colorway and high quality materials on there uh, for the price point. And definitely something I can see going up over time, but honestly, uh, under $300, I'd be comfortable paying that. All right, so next up on the list, we have an Air Jordan 4 Lightning colorway. And I think this one is, again, one of those sleepers. Because they made so many pairs, uh, this is one where people are going to regret passing on. Historically speaking, the Air Jordan 4s has like a higher resale, depending on the colorway, than like an Air Jordan 5. But this is a, a non-OG colorway that they're getting a retro. They had the Thunder and the Lightning. The Thunder retroed years ago. The Lightning finally came here with that new buck upper. It's super nice. Uh, it's it's a great colorway. It's a loud colorway, and it's one that I think that people are going to be kicking themselves for not buying uh, when they have the opportunity to get them for under three hundred dollars. Right now, the buy now for my size nine nine and a half is like two ninety five. Uh, I lucked out and actually got two pairs of those ones as well. I ooped Kaisa's friend swag on a pair at retail, and then I kept the other one that I have. But uh, it's a great colorway. It's one that I think, again, three, five years from now, somebody's going to be wearing them while you're on vacation. You're going to see them at dinner wearing the, the Lightning 4s, and you go like, bro, I, I really like the way they look on feet. It's going to spark something, and people are going to be like, dang it, I should have got them when the prices were like under 300 or around $300 because I feel like it's going to be like a $450 shoe long term, maybe five or six years. But this is not obviously financial investment advice, anything from this video. This is just my pure speculations just on my personal opinion. So uh, I'm sure there's a lot more experts out there that have like stacks and stacks of sneakers that they're waiting to mature that's that's not me i'm just giving you guys my predictions anyway um great colorway great shoe hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like this type of video and you guys want to see other price points drop a comment of what other price point you want me to uh, do a video like this on and then drop a like on the video so i know you guys like it because i know it's a little bit outside the box but the last spot on my list that i'm keeping an eye on for around 300 dollars is the patent bred air jordan one uh, retro high og i love saying that all it's such a mouthful anyway the patent bread one is definitely one of the flashy crazy looking ones but it is in a bread form and i think that that speaks volumes and for those people that are new to sneakers bread is black and red i mean sneakerheads are really clever and then 
you know, you have black and red and red. Yeah. Anyway, Brangelina, it's like the same thing. And actually I pulled the trigger on these about 265, 268 on StockX. And then I waited and then all of a sudden they got to the authentication and they didn't pass authentication. And then I didn't get the sneakers. I was kind of bummed by that, but it actually worked out in my favor because I ended up hitting a pair on a sneakers restock and I got my size. Previously, when they first released, I got a pair um, in a smaller size, one that Harrison will be able to use when he gets a little bigger. But uh, then I was able to hit on my size. So I was pretty stoked about that. I can actually uh, rock a pair myself. Anyways, that wraps up the video. 10 pairs of sneakers that I have my eye on around $300. Uh, again, if you guys want different price points for this video, I could do a $500 price point, a $200 price point, whatever it might be. If you guys want to see it, uh, drop a comment and a like and let me know. And then if you know of any other sneakers around that $300 price point that you have an eye on, drop a comment and let me know so I can just see what you guys are thinking. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys want to save like 51% off of your first month at Kicks World. It's like roughly $28 for your first month. Uh, and you can pretty much rent any of these sneakers if they have them in stock, uh, any of the sneakers in this countdown for that $28 for a month of wearing them. Uh, link in the description for that. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. Thanks again for watching. And hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos. All right, peace guys.